Hi, I'm Arthur Frigo. On a recent trip to New Zealand, I was surprised to learn that there was a hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica. After doing some research in the greenhouse gas effect, I realized that there are many contributing factors, one of which are cargo ships. Cargo ships are a major contributor to this global epidemic. Over 90% of the world trade is carried across the world's ocean using fossil fuels. The reason they contribute to the greenhouse gas effect is because they burn the cheapest, dirtiest fuel on the market, bunker. According to U.S. academic research, pollution from the world's 90,000 cargo ships costs up to $330 billion per year in health costs from lung and heart diseases. If the global shipping fleet were a country, it would be the sixth leading emitter of greenhouse gas emissions. Wind power increases as altitude increases. High altitude winds in the top level of the troposphere are faster, more consistent, and contain more than three times the power than the winds near the Earth's surface. That's where my idea comes in. A helium-filled parachute attached to a cargo ship and launched into the upper level of the troposphere, which is above 30,000 feet, will provide enough energy to propel the ship to its final destination. My calculations prove that wind power can be used to pull a ship at 1,000 feet above sea level. Wind power is proportional to wind speed cubed. As altitude increases, wind speed increases, so that has exponential implications for wind power in the troposphere. Switching cargo ships' method of propulsion from burning bunker to using renewable, high-powered winds in the upper troposphere can significantly reduce CO2 emissions, saving the environment and human lives.